The first step is to register your camera on our website by visiting jaegerpro.com My Account. Log in or create a new account with a new user ID, email address, and password. Then choose the camera's menu to activate data plan. Open your camera and look above the LCD screen for the camera model. Choose your model from the drop down menu. Use the picture to help identify the correct type Odoo Green for a mine camera and camouflage for an ice camera. Enter the 15 digit IMEI number. The number can be found on the inside of your camera or under the camera settings by looking under Menu, System, Information. Scroll down seven topics onto the second page. We have provided or sent you a new SIM card for activation. Input the 20 digit ICC ID number. You will not be able to transfer a used SIM card. You must use the SIM card that came with your camera or was sent to you from Jaeger Pro. Our SIM cards can be reused to renew subscriptions. Check the box to register your camera warranty, then add subscription to cart. Ensure your camera is displayed in the shopping cart. You may add additional subscriptions before proceeding to checkout. Fill out your billing information and double check your order. Fill out the credit card information, then read the privacy policy, terms and conditions. Check the box, complete the CAPTCHA, then proceed to checkout. You will receive a confirmation email for your order. Jaeger Pro will assign your ICC ID number a phone number and add your IMEI number to the server. Then send you an email after the new phone number has been activated on the appropriate network. This process can take from 10 minutes up to 24 hours during normal business hours. While waiting for the activation process to complete, Download and become familiar with the operations manual and watch the operations video. Hover over Cameras and click on Manuals and Videos. Select 4G Cameras, then choose the Operations Manual tab to view and print the PDF file. Watch the camera operations video, then set up your camera to the appropriate settings following the operations manual instructions. You will not be able to conduct any connectivity tests until after your camera is registered to the network and you receive the confirmation email from Jaeger Pro. Once you receive the confirmation email, you must create a new user account at my.jaegerpro.com. Click on Register New Account. Enter your information. Read the privacy policy in terms and conditions. Then check the box. Once you click Register, you will receive another confirmation email. Once you confirm your email, it will automatically sign in. Otherwise, sign in and it will take you to the Add New Camera page. Contact Jaeger Pro 706-718-9789, extension 3, if you do not receive the confirmation email. Input the camera description. Name your camera. This is very important if you are using multiple cameras. Next, input the module ID number. Watch the video located to the right to locate your module ID and register your camera to receive the registration code. Check the box after reading the terms of use and privacy policy. Then click Add This Camera. After adding your camera, it will take you to the camera management page. Click on Manage Camera, Camera Settings. Review the camera settings. At a minimum, change the trigger interval from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Update your camera time zone. Change real-time control to yes. Input the camera phone number from the activation email. Once complete, click on Schedule a Settings Update. Press Menu until you are at the Live Preview screen with your carrier at the top. Press OK to take a photo and OK again to send the photo. Once the photo is sent, turn your camera on to complete the syncing process. Click on Management or Cameras Management. A new photo should appear with the code Jaeger Pro E at the bottom of the photo. If a new photo is not available, refresh your screen. If your signal strength and battery icon are blank, request a status report. Click on Manage Camera, Request the Status. The next step will be to set up your phone with the mobile app. 
Click on Cameras, Mobile Access. The top menu will have your account ID. Below is the camera name or description with two columns, Admin Access Code and Guest Access Code. Type in the Admin Access Code for your device. If you want someone else to view photos but not have control of the camera, set up a guest access code for them. You can give all your cameras the same access code or use a separate access code for each camera in case you have to delete one at a later time or to give someone access to only one camera. Click on Account, Email Contacts. Input your email address or phone number to receive texted photos. Click on Get Help for more information. Click on Cameras. Delivery Options. Select which camera you want to update from the drop-down menu, then check the box for each email address or phone number to send to. The last option, if you choose to use it, is Other Delivery Options. Enter the email address or phone number you want to receive the daily status report. Once complete, click on the Update button. Wave your hand in front of the camera so it will take a motion-activated photo. Click on Camera. Management or Management. We are waiting for the camera to send a motion activated photo and to retrieve camera settings. Wait 30 seconds, then click on Refresh. The new photo will have an M at the bottom of the picture. Click on Manage Camera. Take a photo. This will tell the camera to take a photo. Wait 30 seconds, then click on Refresh. The new photo will have an S at the bottom of the picture. You should now have a new photo with an S in the bottom of the picture. Clicking on any of your photos will bring up the photo gallery. Clicking on any picture will open up a large image. Now all of your photos have the appropriate code S, M, and E. Your camera is operational and ready for deployment. Please watch our mobile app video for your specific device to complete the process.